Latest developments on coronavirus in addition to the legislative session being suspended, Des Moines Mayor Frank County has declared a state of emergency this afternoon. That means large public gatherings are not allowed. That also means the Des Moines St. Patrick's Day parade is canceled. The Federal Reserve announced it will cut its target interest rate to zero. There are 18 cases of COVID-19 right now in Iowa. Governors in several states are ordering bars and restaurants to close to prevent the virus from spreading. More on that breaking news from the State House this afternoon. The House and Senate announced the legislative session will pause for 30 days as COVID-19 reaches community spread in Iowa. The House and Senate will convene tomorrow to figure out how to keep government services going. Staff members and the public will be required to undergo a health screening before they're allowed in the Capitol tomorrow. All scheduled events and tours are canceled. People older than 60 or with underlying health conditions are asked to avoid the capital. The city of Des Moines is now in a state of emergency. Mayor Frank County did announce that decision this afternoon. KCCI's Bo Bowman joins us now to explain what this means and what you cannot do moving forward. The proclamation made by Mayor County today largely focuses on big groups of people. County explained that any gathering over 250 people on public property is prohibited. That includes the St. Patrick's Day parade that was scheduled for Tuesday. Parade organizers said it would be canceled shortly after County announced the state of emergency. He also said to avoid private gatherings if at all possible. I'll be concerned about how we gather, where we gather, uh, and uh, to respect that, that social uh, distancing that, that we all should have. And police aren't taking this lightly. They'll be in charge of enforcing this ban of large groups of people on public property. They said they would do anything possible to just end these gatherings peacefully, but if that doesn't work, they could be charged with a simple misdemeanor. But they say they hope that they don't have to deal with too many of those. Drastic circumstances, you know, call for some drastic measures, and it's certainly unusual for all of us to be in this position. I think that uh, everybody in our community wants to do the right thing so that we can get through this as fast as we can and get back on the other side where we can enjoy these gatherings like the farmer's market and the baseball games and those things that the community has to offer us. Mayor County said it's unclear how long that this state of emergency could last. It could last weeks or it could even last up to months. But for now, live in Des Moines, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Business owners here in Des Moines say they are watching state and local leaders very closely. KCCI's Kayla James is live downtown with what they are doing in the meantime. Kayla. Laura, I stopped in at several bars and restaurants at Core Avenue here behind me, spoke with a few business owners and managers. They tell me they're not really doing anything differently right now except making sure they take extra steps in sanitizing inside their buildings. Now, we have seen a few businesses making changes to their bigger events. Annie's Irish Pub is postponing their annual St. Patrick's Day block party. They say they made the decision after speaking with city officials over several weeks and keeping watch over coronavirus updates. Mayor County says the virus's impact on businesses could be large, saying, for example, retail sales could be down 30 percent. And with events and business trips being canceled, Cash Des Moines says even the smallest amount of groups could leave a major impact. You figure you have 50 people here for three days for meetings and what have you. They'll spend about $50,000 in the community, so it has major impact. You look at big, bigger conventions, two, 3,000 people, that'll have millions of dollars of impact on the community. Greg says there is good news. As of now, an event that major has not been canceled. Live in Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Kayla, thank you. Governors and other states have already ordered mandatory closures of bars and restaurants. In Ohio, they must shut down by 9 o'clock tonight, and bars and restaurants in Illinois must close by the end of business tomorrow. California's governor is calling for these types of businesses to close, too. Large events involving big crowds are already discouraged, but people ignored that this weekend in Chicago. They packed bars and sidewalks to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, even after the city canceled its parade. 
New tonight, the Marshalltown School District is extending its spring break through March 20th. The cancellation includes athletic events, performing arts events and after school programming. The district says it's the best interest of students, families and staff to postpone their return. All 12 month and licensed employees, along with food service workers, are expected to come in during the break extension. All Des Moines Public School District programs are canceled through March 30th. Superintendent Tom Ahart says that will give the district time to deep clean every district building. It's, it'll also buy them time to see how COVID-19 progresses through the state. Because of spring break, the district only had to cancel two scheduled days of classes. Governor Kim Reynolds has yet to cancel school statewide, but today Minnesota did take that step. Governor Tim Walls issued an executive order to close all K through 12 schools for eight days starting Wednesday. Here's what the governors of our neighboring states have decided. Illinois schools will close statewide for nearly two weeks starting Tuesday. Wisconsin schools will close starting Wednesday. South Dakota's governor has requested schools to start closing later this week. In Nebraska, the governor says he might order schools closed for six to eight weeks. The governor of Missouri, meanwhile, has no plans to close schools at this point.